Well, hello there, and welcome to my freaking drawing setup. It's a pretty chill place to make some uh, stuff, whatever it is that I make. But what are your drawing setups like, and what rank do they deserve? In all seriousness, I think this video will be a good lesson in what really matters for a nice productive space to draw. And I can assure you the most important element is not what you can afford. Thanks to my friends in the Learning to Draw Discord server for helping me make this video. If you want to improve your art for free, join the server with the link in the description. So let's get out of here and go straight to the first setup. Also, I forgot to mention one of these setups is mine, so uh, see if you can guess which one it is. So what are we all thinking about this one? There's nothing particularly wrong with this, but I do just think push this stuff out the way and set it up so your laptop is directly in front of your drawing tablet. And then it's like, it's very basic, but it will be just fine. I think A is a bit high. I think we should reserve these tiers for people who really have a cozy looking setup. I don't know about A. Okay, I can't put it any lower than B at the very least because it seems like everyone's agreeing on B. It's very basic, but there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, quite cluttered. I actually really like all the Nintendo stuff. I think for gaming and stuff, this is a nice space. But for drawing, this space is kind of cramped. I don't know how big this desk is. But I think if you like moved all of this stuff to a shelf somewhere and you took the PC and the gaming stuff and moved it over here, then you'd have a decent space here for drawing, but right now I think it's just a bit cramped. So I guess we're agreeing C tier for this. You know, I could draw in this space, but I think what you have, you could use more efficiently to just give yourself more room to breathe. I think having a cramped drawing setup is kind of bad because it makes the process of starting to draw more complicated than it needs to be. I don't know. It does look really cool, but it's actually kind of cramped looking at this picture, but I don't know if that's just because he has a lot of stuff out. If you're doing traditional stuff like here, then there's enough room for that but i'm assuming you move that out of the way and then you've got is this a drawing tablet i'm assuming then you can just have that here i think we could give a more fair rating if we saw a bit of a zoomed out shot okay so now we're seeing this properly now that we see the space there's a whole thing over here there's a whole drawing space here this is not a c this is like the kind of setup i would recommend you have like an l-shaped desk so the space for the monitors and stuff here and then drawing stuff here. I take kind of issue with all these cables more than anything. <laughs> I think he needs to get this so it's like out the way. The cable is still in front of the monitor, yeah. I don't like these um, keyboard drawers. These are an issue for me as well because I used to have one and I kind of hated it. And the mouse is higher up than the keyboard. Okay, Ninja Spencer is going to be our first A tier setup. Yeah, I think this is fair so far. Looking at the three that we have in the different tiers, I think these are pretty good examples of typical A, B, and C tier for drawing. This is an example of obviously there's not much to it, but it's not like it's bad either. If you don't have a digital drawing tablet, that's not a bad thing. That's just like, you don't need that. Yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing a good point <laughs> about the loose pens. <laughs> to be fair, I also do that though. You've got a space for your screens and you've got space for your drawing pad and then a pile of mess, admittedly here. You're probably going to lose this stuff. You could spend more money and have a worse setup. Like this is perfectly acceptable to draw on. A solid B tier for whoever this is. Hmm. Plenty of space. Yeah, neatly organized. Definitely nice cable management and stuff like that. It looks comfy. It genuinely looks comfortable. This is just a good for posture setup, to be fair. Move this monitor directly in front of the tablet. I feel like with these pen non-display tablets, you want to have whatever you're drawing on directly in front of you. So the fact it's at an angle is kind of weird, but it's close enough. I don't think it's a big deal. I think having the keyboard hidden like this, that's kind of annoying. If I want to go from typing to drawing, that's really in the way. And so I'm not a huge fan of that, but I think this is a pretty comfortable setup. Like it's neat, it's tidy. I think keep in mind a pen tablet and a screen tablet, it kind of needs two different kinds of setup. And I feel like this is a good pen tablet setup. It looks so clean and cozy. I kind of have to give it an A. Oh, this is an interesting looking one. Okay, okay. So this is pretty much what my setup is like. Oh, wait, you've got the Overwatch mouse mat that I used to have. I had this, but it got like really dirty over time. That's interesting. They got the animation friggin' Disney book. Whoever posted this one, we can be friends. We have a lot in common. This one is pretty much what I would recommend for a display tablet. You've got the main desk and then you've got the L-shaped bit. You can have references up on here. If you do want to like play games or something, you can do that so easily. Just swivel the chair around, start drawing. I do also like judging people's taskbars. You've got a lot of stuff in there. This is not what my setup would look like, but it makes sense enough that I'm not going to judge it. I judge people when they have like the Windows store as their first thing in the taskbar. 
that makes me angry. I think this probably is an S because like, what's wrong with it? Is there anything that stands out as wrong? He's looking up the Crunchyroll girl's skirt apparently. That's gonna be a solid S from me, I think. Your speakers are sideways, I don't know if that's an issue. It's another case of it's not like this giant flashy gaming setup, but it looks comfy. And for drawing on this, what is there to floor? There's plenty of space to move your arms properly. The monitor's like raised and directly in front of it this time. There's not really anything to critique here. You've got your supplies in a neat way down here. The screen, I guess, is kind of small for how far away it is. It's not flashy, it's not crazy but it's completely solid. There's nothing right now that I could say fix this without like spending a bunch of money. In that sense, I can't really floor it. That's gonna be a solid A, very nice. This is again, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of boring, but it's solid. What is there to complain about? You've got a pretty decent looking laptop. It's, mm -hmm. this is kind of concerning me. Look how much that's being tugged on. That looks like it's gonna be ripped out of the wall. You got a nice little drawer here. I love having a drawer under my drawing space. It's clean. You got some random stuff out, but it's not enough to be a mess. You got some juice. You got a printed out picture of a furry character that's taped to the wall. That's going to be a solid A. Let's see. We've got, I assume, water and not a spirit. So that's good. You've got a Gaumon tablet. I have not seen this one before. Cables are kind of a mess. Like as a drawing setup, this directly in front of the laptop, no real problems there. My problems are seeing like, clearly you're playing games on it too. You're switching this out with the keyboard. That's kind of annoying. I know that from experience. It is very close to the wall, isn't it? You are like right next to the wall and then you have all this free space on this side. Very thick cable on the headset. Look at that. I feel like the most efficient setups don't require you to move everything around every time you want to change subject. However, for drawing, it's fine. I feel like this can't be an A because it's kind of messy. Less focused. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's what it comes down to. We'll go with B on this one. Just uh, not as nice looking, but perfectly functional for drawing when it's set up like this. <laughs> We've got a good one coming up after this one. I love the stacks of money, first of all. <laughs> You've got an amazing YouTube channel up on this monitor. And I can see from the little red line that you've watched at least these three. And I'm going to assume that you've watched the rest of them. My question is, how are you drawing on this? Is this on an arm that's like you pull towards yourself? Is that what this is? I, it has to be, right? Otherwise, you'd be leaning over it. These cables are kind of messy, but they're not in the way. My other thing is, there's books between the monitors. There's a lot of stuff here. I feel like you could just move some stuff around and this is an S. But it just looks kind of awkward and cramped because you've got so much stuff on here that kind of makes it an A for me. If you posted a picture of what it looks like when you're drawing, maybe I'd be like, okay, it's an S. Looks like it's going to fall apart a little bit, yeah. Like you move one thing and all the books fall over <laughs> and everything shakes. We're going to go A on this one. You've got the stacks of money, but you don't have the, uh, don't have the wisdom to be a S tier, I'm afraid. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, get ready. Is this, are they here? Because I know they were. What are we thinking on this one? <laughs> what? What do we rate this one? So how do you draw? I guess that's the question. So you sit on the floor and use the mouse on the chair, which there's not even much space for. I want to rate people based on how they're using what they have. So you've decided what you're going to do with it. You've found what you need to use. This pillow looks comfortable enough. I don't know how good for your legs sitting on the floor is. I just don't have it in me to rate it like extremely low as funny as it is you like sitting on the floor okay then an ironic a yeah exactly you're making the most of what you have it's a well this isn't particularly clean but like the space that you're using is obviously clean enough i can't give you a lower rating for drawing with a mouse that's not really in the spirit of things hmm, what are we thinking if we're rating things based on using what you have to draw i kind of feel like it's an a right <laughs> I kind of feel like it is. S? People are saying S. Do we give it an S? God tier? Okay. Okay, hold up. Let's make sure this is going in the correct tier. This is gonna look so jank. Wait, did I spell tier wrong? Oh, wait, wait. You didn't see that. The first god tier, potentially the last, I guess we'll see. Congratulations. Genuinely, respect for like using what you have at your disposal and continuing to draw and trying to improve regardless of what you have to work with. This is very clean and cozy. You've got a lot of stuff going on, but the cables are organized. You've got four things in your taskbar, and one of them is Minecraft. Oh, a cable management box, hello. And some nice freaking drawers for your art equipment. Really nice, like, thick desk as well. My main thing is, like with a lot of these, 
If you want to access the keyboard, these two are competing for space, so kind of annoying. But aside from that, it's really, really nice. That's going to be an S tier for me. Kind of cramped, kind of crowded. All your monitors are different heights. So hmm, this is actually interesting. You've got your pen tablet on your main desk, but you've kind of set it up so they're not fighting. So you could just swivel your chair here, and I assume draw on this and use this for references. And then you could move over here and like have Discord on here. It's kind of fine, actually. I'm imagining trying to do something with my mouse and I'm sitting here and my mouse is like hitting this. So I need to push it out of the way. That's kind of annoying. Okay, so what do we think in terms of rating? Because I feel like this is one at first glance, it's kind of low. But when I really think about it, it's actually all right. I think it could be an A or at least a B. I think we're going B to it just because the mouse is kind of making me mad. The mouse is kind of making me want to punch a hole in the wall. What are we thinking? You've got a lot of space to work with. Trains are pretty big. People around, you could ask these people for advice. What do we rate this? I mean, it's not a drawing setup. And trains shake a lot. Would you be able to draw properly? You can literally take your setup anywhere. That is very true. That doesn't necessarily mean it's better or more comfortable though. That's a good point. It's not a calm environment. If we're thinking about focus and trying to improve at arts, probably not the best, but maybe you're just crazy. I'm gonna put it like in the center. I'm gonna put it as B, even though it's literally not a drawing setup. I still respect it despite that. Very nice monitor, kind of cramped, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like once this is set up so the tablet is directly in front of you, it's like fine. Nice keyboard though. It looks very mechanical. It looks like a mechanical keyboard, I'm assuming. It looks very mechanical. I <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> You've got Uno on the desktop. TikTok. It looks organized enough. I don't really do desktop icons, but it looks organized enough. It's a situation where what you have is used just fine, but it does look a bit cramped. Yeah, I'm agreeing. I'm thinking this is like a B. Like with a lot of these, I'm imagining you pushing this all that way to access your keyboard. Kind of annoying. Wait a minute. However, he took this picture while in one of these live streams. So, gotta be an S. I was gonna say, it's kind of looks annoying to move the tablet around. But despite that, it looks pretty comfy. Like, I would be pretty happy if that was my room. I think this is an A. I quite like it. We could probably do this one fairly quickly. Not much to see. Desk is a little bit messy. It's solid. I mean, it's like you're using what you have just fine. Nothing here is particularly flashy. I feel like this is another B. I don't feel comfort when I see it like I did with the previous one, but it's a solid B. It's a good drawing space. What do we think in S tier? I actually have a couple of friends who would love this so much. They said this is literally their drawing setup. I'm not seeing where they draw unless it's here. It's genuinely a nice Sonic collection. It's pretty organized. However, we're not here to rate people's Sonic setups. I don't see how you would draw here. <laughs> <laughs> the world is mine. Is that a Hatsune Miku reference? Damn. I mean, this is another one where it's like, I like it. It looks nice. But how do I rate it as a drawing setup? There's like nothing there. What we're going to do, we're going to make an adjacent tier. Because it's not better or worse. It's just not what I asked for. Sonic. And I'll, I'll draw a little Sonic. Hold up. Oh, what does Sonic look like? I forgot. Oh, his nose is long. <laughs> it's not that long. If he needs to be pregnant. Okay. Sonic tier. Congratulations. The first Sonic tier. Hmm, interesting to see V-shaped monitor setup. I just think the monitors need to be straighter and then it's fine. How many do I see? How many monitors? I'm assuming three, right? Four. Where's the fourth one? <laughs> Behind? Oh, this one? <laughs> What is that for? What possible use could you have for that? Pretty good, honestly. Apart from all the mess you've got going on down here. Damn, what do I possibly rate this? Assuming this is a drawing tablet, you could draw on this pretty well. Keyboard and mouse aren't getting in the way, which is huge because most people don't have that. It's a B because your desk is a mess. Hmm, I'm liking this. Uh, actually, hmm, actually. If you're using this and your desk is tucked in, your arms of this chair is right up against it. I feel like the person who posted this, you can afford a bigger desk. Maybe this is the only corner you have to set this up. So maybe that's the problem. Nice monitor. Actually, is this? Wait a minute. I think this person might have the same drawing tablet and monitor as me. I almost really like this one because it's almost exactly what I think you should do. But it's just a bit too cramped. I like this little like hole for your pen holder. That's cool. If it was just less cramped, it's an easy A, if not an S. Yeah, I guess B is fair. It's very close to an A, I have to be honest. I gotta say, I love the lighting. It does look really cool and it's very clean. Yeah, yeah, wait, so your tablet's plugged into a Mac? Yeah, okay, interesting. I don't really know how you manage that. The secondary mouse and keyboard is a bit awkward. If you're comfortable doing it and it doesn't seem like a big deal, then it doesn't really matter. 
can barely see your computer, but it looks nice. So yeah, the, the wall plug is kind of ugly, but it's good to be able to access this stuff. And then from the front, does anyone think this shouldn't be an S? It looks so comfy. It's so clean. The lighting is really nice. Looks like a fun place to draw. What are we thinking? Looks like a school desk with an iPad on it. Doesn't look like you have a ton to work with, but there's also nothing wrong with it. You don't need to make space for a keyboard and a mouse because you're using an iPad. It's solid, like what is there to complain about? There's really nothing. It's an A. Even though some people in B have nicer equipment, it's like cramped or whatever. Good setup. This one's kind of crazy. It's a bit cluttered is the main thing, but it's not, yeah, it's not disorganized either. The aesthetic just isn't doing it for me. It's very nice and functional, but I just don't like how it visually looks that much compared to the S tier ones. I feel like this is a solid A, a very high A. It's really nice and it's definitely all you'll ever need to make art, but just aesthetically, I'm not a huge fan. So this is fine. I'm just, the first thing I saw was this mouse map falling off the desk, which really upsets me. Um, you do have space for your keyboard with the tray. I don't like the trays, but it does work. The mic is handheld. That is interesting. So why is your computer here when you could have it in the corner? This doesn't need to be like this. I'm just not getting comfy vibes from this setup. So I think this one's a B. This is really solid and nice, actually. This cable is annoying. Not a ton you can do about it, though. You could stick it down so it goes under this. This looks cozy, but Mac. Yeah, not a fan of Macs either. It's a golden Mac as well. I wonder how much that costs. Mac taskbars always look like a mess, so I don't even know how to judge this. I think it'd be your A. This is probably an A. I'm assuming you're using this to draw on this screen because you've got a screen tablet, but you don't have it on the freaking hinge thing. Whatever you call it. Pretty clean though. Like you got a lot of stuff, but it's not a mess. It's comfy enough. I just think this really bugs me having to move the keyboard, but there's not a lot you can do when you have this kind of drawing setup. So I, I can't judge it too harshly on that. It's fine. It looks pretty professional actually. I think it might be an A. This is a little bit of a mess, but I kind of like it. You got plenty of space. I'm just not sure if you're using the space that you have that well. This is definitely potential to be high tier, mostly because of how much space you have to work with, and you seem to have a pretty nice house on top of that. I think it might be a B just for being messy, to be honest. <laughs> It has huge potential, but as it is, I just don't think I could draw in that space very comfortably. I will say very nice colors. Yeah, I like the pink and white. You clearly care about the aesthetics of your desk. It's very consistent. There's some things around that you could clean up, but that's the case with everyone's desk. Like I have freaking, I have some stuff on my desk right now that doesn't need to be there. It's functional when it feels very art focused. I feel like this is an A. Basic, kind of cramped, but it's clean enough and you're using the space you have. It's a pen tablet setup where you don't have to push everything out of the way every time. Very small screen compared to your drawing space. Everything is very small, but again, you don't seem to have a lot of space to work with. Mouse space is also very limited here, and your taskbar looks like it's probably a bit of a mess. It's solid. Okay, this can go in A as well. Not a great picture. You got the Windows Store and your taskbar. Eh. You got Microsoft Edge next to friggin' Chrome. You're not using both. Unpin Edge. Yeah, this is, uh, is this Spanish? That looks like a Spanish word. <laughs> I don't know. In terms of how we're rating them, it's a clean desk. It looks focused. You don't have a desktop or a big desk or a giant screen tablet. I can't really fault it either. It's more than enough space to draw. It's nice and clean. You can draw with this. I feel like if you just have an empty space and you just have a tablet, then that's an A because <laughs> you can draw in that space and it's comfy. Good start. Okay. I'm not seeing any major issues really. This is kind of in the way. You really have to push this out of the way to use this tablet. You do have a bunch of random stuff on your desk, like plasters and stuff, but it's not that bad. What are we thinking on the tier list? A clean and functional. I think it's consistent to put it in a pretty standard pen tablet is in the way, but not much you can do about it because they compete for space. I do appreciate having this as your background. Like it's me. It might be a B because it does look a little bit more cramped than some of the A's. Yeah, because your keyboard is right up against that monitor. Yeah, you know, what? I feel like if the last one's an A, this is also an A. Maybe the other one should be a B. You know what? Maybe it should be. Hmm, this is very important. The bees are all quite cramped is the thing. Then again, this one is... Yeah, okay, okay. This one, we're demoting this one, I'm afraid. What do you guys think about this one? The tablet and monitors are kind of a distance apart. Yeah, that's true. You can't really easily use one monitor for references and one for the other one for drawing. Personally, if it was me, I would use this and then just have like PureF up in the corner. So I wouldn't be looking at these. The monitors are very low as well, yeah. There is a Miku. There's a... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There's five Mikus in sight. Okay, so people are saying A tier, I think. 
And I would agree. I think uh, eight is pretty objective. Okay, this is nice. I will say it's comfy, but how are you drawing is my main concern. You could draw over here, like traditionally. The keyboard's already right up against the monitor, even without a drawing tablet out. It's not art focused at all. If we're giving like very basic setups an A, because they are art focused, this one has to be kind of low. As much as it's nice, and I would be perfectly happy if this was my desk, I just don't see how you're going to get art done. Despite the fact I like it overall as an art setup, it's pretty low. I think we'll put it in C with this one. The other setup at least had art supplies. D tier. Okay. You're the only D tier, and it's not that your setup's not nice, it's just not for drawing. This is nice, actually. George Bridgman. Some anime figures and a little uh, reference thingy. Yeah, I mean, I think this is really nice. It's solid. I like the aesthetics. Really good drawing setup. I feel like this is uh, an easy A. Kind of a speedy one. I feel like this is a, an A, based on the criteria that we've set. A little bit cramped, but it's the space that you have. Drawing focused. It's not cramped because it's messy, you know? It's cramped because you just don't have a lot of space to work with, so... This one's a bit too cramped. Like the keyboard on top of the keyboard. Not sure about that. Kind of cluttered, yeah. I just feel like it's too cluttered. And I don't know how much space you have to work with, but I know that you could use like this space over here better. It looks like it's a bit messy. It's not comfy, like at all. It looks a bit stressful to draw in. I don't know if I agree that it's a C. It's a B, because I, I just don't know how much space that you have. Very minimal, very clean. Where's your drawing supplies? <laughs> There's a ton of space to put a drawing tablet here, but I'm not seeing it. The art potential is A, if not S tier. I think on principle, we have to put you down in D with this guy for zero art supplies. <laughs> so, minimalism, but you can't minimalize yourself out of drawing. <laughs> oh, this is nice. This is very nice. Very comfy. Love the Mikus. I'm seeing at least two, three, uh, four. Oh, there's loads. Oh, she's all over the place. I love it. Traditional art stuff here. Very comfy. Yeah, I'm thinking the same. No real legroom. I just realized this is a giant Gengar. Amazing. Not a ton of legroom. I don't know if this is an S. Oh, there's another. They got the world is mine Miku up on the wall. If I let my biases choose, this would be an S because there's a lot of stuff I like here. But I feel like it's it's an A. It's a very, very high A. But there's just a couple of things that stop it being an S. I'll put you here just to make a point. This is a screen tablet. So you can draw on this without this being so high up being an issue. It is dusty. It's a little bit of a mess. But that mess is primarily art supplies. You do have some pencils like on your <laughs> mouse mat, which seems kind of annoying. There's not much of an aesthetic going on here. Drawing on this, you have to push in the keyboard to have good access to the tablet. But then if you want to use your keyboard again, you've got to roll your chair back and pull the tray out. And then if you're using keyboard and mouse on different layers, in terms of art, it's fine. But in terms of like digital art and trying to use your computer, it seems a little bit annoying. Okay, so you're saying with first-hand information, it's really uncomfortable. <laughs> I think it has to go in B tier based on the other the rules that we've come up with. Um, okay, so, oh, hold up. I was gonna say this is a basic A based on the, the, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are going through the same process as I did. Based on the rules that we've set, it's a basic A, but why is it on their bed? I feel like this is gonna break your neck and your back. If you can't afford a desk, it's possible you might just not be able to have access to a desk, then maybe. But at the same time, like in the, the god tier one that we have, you could just use a chair. I don't know. Because we've been saying comfort is important, I just don't see how this could be an A. It's kind of awkward. You're using Microsoft Edge. We're trying to not judge people based on what they can afford or anything. So based on that, I feel like it still has to be a B. I just imagine my neck snapping in half trying to draw on a bed. Very cool. Oh my god. Uh, interesting. So clearly likes Toho Project and whatever her name is. Not comfortable for gaming or anything, because you have to move this out the way. But under the assumption it's drawing focus, you've got a little thing for shortcuts here. Keyboard is kind of out the way. Typing anything is going to be a pain. Cables are managed fine. Like, it's kind of messy, but I'd say it's pretty average. The mouse mount's meant to be just the face. They're so high up. I feel like it has to be. It's still not the vibe that it gives off. <laughs> Her hands? Maybe. Yeah, her hands like up against her cheeks, maybe? Peter Griffin chin. It can't be her chest, because I know what this character looks like first of all, and second of all, it's up against her like eyes. This might be a B because it seems awkward to access the keyboard and stuff, but it could be an A because I think it's not that bad. What are we thinking, A or B? Everyone's saying A, we're going A. Um, what are we thinking about this one? They've drawn in their phone, which is a very creative choice. 
they've got their Switch for YouTube. I'm not seeing Pikmin, so... Mm. Again, this is not a good neck setup. It is in the neck breaker tier, I feel like. It can't be too hard. It can't be too high, I mean. I feel like it's a B, because we don't know what they can, like, afford. The toilet paper on the desk is, uh... <laughs> is sussing me out a little. Based on what we've established, I feel like this is an A. It's clean enough, straight up, solid for drawing. You got a crazy mouse. You're in a great Discord server. Oh, very nice and clean taskbar too, look at that. Yeah, there's not much of an aesthetic, which is why it can't really go into like S tier or anything. It's a solid A, I think. You got some great drawing books here. I'm seeing uh, Andrew Loomis and Richard Williams. Very cool. What is this? I don't know what that is, but it looks kind of cool. I don't know who this is. I like it. And then obviously you're getting points for this. I think you knew what you were doing. Do you not have a uh, digital drawing tablet? Oh, you use an iPad. Okay. Plenty of space to put the iPad down and use this for reference. It looks comfy. Is this, uh, is this Paul Carrosso in the background? S? I don't know about S, because there's not much of an aesthetic other than this over here. By the way, is she always facing this way? <laughs> Do you just prefer that view? <laughs> yeah. Okay. She's wearing tights. I respect it. Solid A. Good art focus. I mean, right away, very nice and clean. This is a really weird shaped desk, but it works actually. It's so clean, you can see the reflection of the computer. I'm trying to read these, I don't think I can. <laughs> You've censored them because you knew I would zoom in, I just realized. <laughs> and a nice taskbar too. A Pure F, dude, I love Pure F. And I think we have the exact same mouse, actually. I mean, I, I prefer like big screen tablets and stuff, but for the equipment that you're choosing to use, like, it's really nice and it's really organized. I don't know if it's an S. There's not as much of an aesthetic going on, which is kind of what the S tiers are for, which obviously isn't, you know, necessary. That's going to be an A tier. Okay, what do we think? Based on what we've previously established, I mean, it could be a B because it is a bit cluttered. Oh. Discord white mode, though? Discord white mode? Oh, that's... That's, that's going to be a problem. Based on the criteria we've set, solid A has to be. Um, looks like a nice space to draw in. No problems there. Apart from the light mode, get that friggin' fixed. This is obviously the best setup ever. And I'm also a big fan of the Sonic one. Everyone else kind of sucked, to be honest. And uh, yeah, try harder next time. I think if anything, what this really communicates, though, is that it's really not about what you can afford and how much space you have. I think obviously having really nice aesthetics like some of these ones we've ranked high that feel really comfortable to be in that's obviously nice to have but to have a good drawing setup you really don't need much you can have a crappy laptop and the cheapest drawing tablet directly in front of it and a very small desk and you can make that work to be an efficient drawing space art doesn't need to be expensive really all you need is a piece of paper and a pencil if you want to improve your art for free join the learning to draw discord server and if you want more content in this style, check out my new secondary channel, Feet JP. There's like three different puns in that name. There's already a brand new video on that channel, and I'll put a link on the screen right now. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.